Hey guys, today we're gonna be blacking out our emblems using Placidib rubber coating. Let's get into it. I'm gonna be blacking out the emblems on a Mitsubishi Lancer GT, but it's the exact same process for any vehicle. Okay, so let's go over everything you need. Other than the Plastidip, most of this stuff you probably have lying around your house, but I'll put links to everything in the description. First, we'll need Plastidip, toothpicks, Q-tips, painter's tape, a microfiber cloth, and painter's plastic or newspaper. I also used a razor blade for a special circumstance, but this won't apply to everyone, so stay tuned. Okay, so first we gotta clean the area. I started off with a microfiber cloth, just wiping around and everything, getting all the dust off. Next up, get one of those Q-tips and really get into the cracks and crevices of all the emblems and lettering. Just make sure you're really thorough with it because you don't want a bunch of little specks or imperfections in your emblems. Okay, step two, time to start taping it off. Leave a one to two inch border around each emblem. Don't let the tape touch the emblems. This will make removal much easier. Once you get the basic outline taped off, time to get the newspaper and protect your car from overspray. Move on to the next emblems and continue prepping. This is where the optional razor blade comes into play. So I have a special circumstance where I have a trunk pop button here and it works with my fob. I just want to plastic dip the chrome parts and the button is already black. So I'm going to put a tiny piece of tape only on the button and use the razor to cut this button out. It will look like this when we are finished. Just continue prepping the other emblems by cleaning and detailing in between each letter, then tape it off and we can move on to spray. Okay, our prep is done. Now it's time to plastic up the letters and emblems. Start off by giving the can a good shake for one full minute, then start spraying a light thin coat about six to 10 inches away. Just go back and forth overlapping each spray before. We are gonna be laying down five coats, so don't get too carried away with each coat. Just enough to make sure the whole surface area is wet and then we'll wait and come back and spray it again. Just try to spray evenly and make sure you hit the emblems from every angle possible. Get the inner left sides of the letters, the tops, the bottoms, rights, all of it, little by little each coat. Don't overdo it to the point where it starts dripping down or you may have to peel that letter off and redo it. All right, take a 30 minute break and wait for it to dry and start on your next coat. Plastidib recommends three to four coats. After your final coat, it needs four hours to set and then it'll be fully waterproof and ready for rain. Continue laying down your coats with 30 minutes of drying time in between each coat. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this or learning anything from this video, give it a thumbs up and please consider hitting that subscribe button. Just for those of you out there that are curious, this is being shot on the Sony A7S Mark II with the Rokinon 85mm center lens for Sony E-mount. Alright, time for the fun part. So I do filmmaking for a living. My favorite part of new electronics is peeling off that protective film. <laughs> That's why this is the best part. It's the most satisfying feeling. Alright, so just peel it slow and if the plastic dip starts getting to the lettering like it is here, just be careful and make sure you don't rip your letters off and it's only peeling around the edges of the letters. It comes off very easy, just make sure you don't rip it off your lettering. Next, use the toothpicks to get in between each letter. I like using wooden toothpicks because it won't scratch your paint. Some areas are hard to get in between, so I like using two toothpicks like chopsticks or little tweezers to pull the plastic dip out. So once you peel all your overspray off, you just go in with a microfiber cloth and buff off any splatters or places your tape or newspaper didn't cover. And that's it. I've had this plastic dip on my car for six months now and it still looks perfect. Leave me a comment if you think I should black out the front Mitsubishi emblem as well. Consider hitting that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and I'll see you in the next video.